dear students welcome to my channel main topic is query and query operation in information retrieval and sub topic is structural queries three type of structure like form hypertext and hierarchical is covered under the structural queries now let us start text collection are set of documents which can be queried with regard to their text content classical information retrieval model is based on this concept nowadays text often has a structure like headings paragraph or list which can help to organize the information classical retrieval model is not taking the advantage of novel text features which are becoming common place such as text structure a language like html gives structure to web pages this means we can search not just for words but also for specific parts of web page like headings or links this makes searching more powerful and useful that is searching is based on content as well as the structure for example if we want a particular content in the paragraph field now see the some of the website like mail server stack overflow quora they having a particular fixed structure so we can give the query for that particular fixed structure with the content mixing content and structure in queries make very powerful and much more expressive by using a query language that integrates both type of queries the retrieval quality of textual database can be improved this mechanism start with the basic search that finds the document based on their content like specific word or phrase and for that we are using classical text retrieval model so first query on the text content text retrieval model is there and it will retrieve the set of documents based on the content and they are rank then it adds another layer that looks at the structure of the documents like chapter or section then on the retrieved document we check whether that particular content comes under the structure particular structure which is given in query and based on that we select the documents and for that we are applying the boolean model means content and structural query if match then it will retrieve the final documents then we can use boolean queries on top of the structural queries to combine set of documents based on their structure that is like searching for documents that only have that not only have the certain words but also fit into specific structural categories for example search for word within a specific section or chapter of document for example content is listen to many speak to few image caption is william shakespeare author is william and title is hamlet for example we want to search a particular things in which this is nothing but the classical retrieval model that is content and all other are nothing but the structural aspect retrieve the articles that have section discussing climate change impacts and chart with caption global temperature now this is related with text and this is related with structure so we want a chart in which caption is there global temperature retrieves recipes that contains about chocolate in the title list and the photo of the prepared dish with caption that includes the word presentation so this query is nothing but the based on the structural component and the content component three types of main structures are there one is form like fixed structure hypertext and hierarchical so this is a form like fixed structure this is a hypertext and hierarchical this is a very stringent this is very free and this is nothing but in between the form like fixed structure and the hypertext structure first is form like fixed structure fixed fields structure with a fixed set of fields field content each field contained a text that has relevant to that specific category for example a document might have fields for title author and abstract and each field contained information fitting that category field variability not all document necessarily have every field and some fields could be absent in certain documents field order field usually have a predefined order in which they appeared within a document for a particular website or a particular chapter or for a particular book no unstructured text text in traditional documents couldn't exist outside of these predefined fields there was 
no provision for unstructured or free from text so every text is included into particular field field nesting and overlapping field could not be nested within one another and they could not overlap each field has its distinct place in the document structure retrieval restrictions the retrieval method of these documents were limited to searching for a specific pattern within designated fields fixed structure applicability this model is suitable when text collection has predefined and consistent structure as we can see in the mail archive where each mail has a sender receiver date subject and body field mail archive example in mail archive user can efficiently search for email sent to specific recipients with the particular keywords in the subject line or body of the message and this particular mail has a particular structure so we can give the query based on that particular field this concept involves viewing the text field within a structured collection as if they were database column which enables a powerful querying however combining this approach with the relational database can be challenging as they are typically optimized for different data types so we can't directly use our relational database for the mail server to retrieve the information some proposals from oracle and cybase are there to extend the sql to support the full text retrieval in which the data is somewhat in the fixed structure form second is hypertext structure this is the most general document structure each document is is divided into regions where region could be section paragraph or an entire document regions can be nested the nodes are connected with directed links hypertext offer a high degree of freedom in structuring information with nodes containing text and links connecting them initially the retrieval from the hypertext was a manual navigation process users had to follow the links to find the information without ability to query the structure users had to follow uh, the web despite its vastness mainly enable text content searching rather than structural querying but now web glimpse is a notable tool that combines browsing and content the searching on the web in recent times new query tools have been emerged to facilitate searching hypertext based on content and the structure third is hierarchical structure the hierarchical structure is model that fits between the fixed structure and hypertext it involves a recursive decomposition of text and is well suited for various text collection like books article legal documents and structured programs this model simplifies the structure from hypertext allowing the user of fast query solving algorithms in general the more powerful of model is less efficient in its implementation so fixed structure is a restricted model but we can give the query and in which the success of the result is more and hypertext is very free model so it is very difficult to make uh, searching based on the structure as well as content some of the tools now available in the market which will allow the browsing and searching simultaneously but still it is limited now hierarchical structure is in between the fixed structure and hypertext and here as it has a particular fixed structure and that structure is also limited then we can give the query for searching and this query have a very high success rate queries may combine regular text queries which are targeted at particular area queries on the structure on the structure itself also we can give for example retrieve the documents with at least five sections typical query retrieve the documents with section whose title contains simpsons and whose text contains homer so in this way in hierarchical structure also we can combine the text as well as or we can combine the content as well as structure for retrieving the documents now this is the example of hierarchical structure for example this is chapter sections title and figure so we can give the query based on the content in this particular node as well as on the structural elements samples of hierarchical model pat expressions overlap list list of references proximal nodes and tree matching so overlap list and proximal nodes i have already published the video on the overlap list and proximal nodes so i am not going to cover here so only three that is pat 
list of references and tree matching is covered in this video now let us see first pat expression pat expression are based on the same index as the text content eliminating the need for separate structural index the they rely on tags as such as those used in html to define the structure within the text these tags including initial and final ones like in html when we create heading then starting h1 is there and after the end slash h1 is there so they are using this type of structure of initial and final ones and that they mark as a structural as well as content it is used to mark different section of the document allowing for dynamic and efficient structural queries each pair of initial and final tags create a region that represents a continuous text area as well as we can give the query on that particular structural component also we can also use externally computed regions however these regions cannot nest or overlap multiple regions can coexist without any restriction so uh, particular tags are defined in html but if we want to create a different hierarchy or different structural elements we can create externally also on that document pat expression support operations to select the area that contain or that don't contain other areas or are contained in or not contained in other areas or followed by the other areas now based on that html tags we can find out the particular area which contain this or which does not contain that text in that particular area so variety types of combinations are used to find out the content in the particular structural area however the approach has some disadvantage as it combines regions and sets of text position which can lead to complex conversion semantics it may not be suitable for all types of structured content such as some structured programming languages now we'll see some example we want to find out all paragraphs which is defined by the p tags that contain a specific word for example technology a pat expression in this context would involve defining the start and end tags end tags for paragraph like p and slash p and then searching for instance where slash p tag encloses a text containing the word technology this query would allow you to identify and retrieve all the paragraphs within the document where the technology word is there third is list of references structured text query language are designed to provide a common way to define and search structured text using a single language in this language documents have fixed hierarchical structure and all possible regions are predefined during indexing this structure does not allow for overlapping result and only top level elements of the same type can be queried the language facilitates a querying based on path expression within the hierarchical structure and query results are represented as a list of references that point to specific region in the structured text this will clear more with the example suppose we have a collection of research paper with fixed hierarchical structure that includes sections and paragraphs we want to find out all section that discusses a specific topic for example artificial intelligence using a structured text query language we can use find section where path contains artificial intelligence the query language interprets this searching for all sections where path within the hierarchical structure contains a term ai the results are delivered as a list of references to the several section within the document this approach allows you to efficiently search and retrieve the structured text content based on the predefined hierarchical structure fifth is tree structure tree matching is a model for querying a structured text here both text database and queries are trees the main concept is tree inclusion embedding a query into the database while respecting the hierarchical relation so here in the tree we are maintaining both that is text database as well as queries there are two types order inclusion that is respect the sibling order and unorder inclusion queries can include text pattern and results are typically the roots of matches the leaves of the query can not only structure elements but also the text patterns meaning that the ancestor of the leaf must contain that particular pattern for instance consider the database of books each with chapter and paragraph we can use tree 
matching to query for books containing the chapter about art with paragraphs mentioning renaissance however it is important to note that use of logical variable and unordered inclusion can make this challenging and inefficient process for some queries now compared to first four methods tree structure is very difficult to maintain because we are maintaining simultaneously text and queries in the same tree so this is all about structural constant or structural types in information retrieval thank you